Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jersey and today we are bringing you another LEGO Fortnite build video and this one is a big one. This is, we're gonna be building a LEGO farmhouse, but not just an ordinary farmhouse, we are gonna be customizing a farmhouse that I saw in real life and Telling you why, <laughs> telling you why, this was a project just trying to figure it out to build something that you see in real life with the roofing, with the el elevator room, rooms that are hanging in the air, you know, using beams. There's so much work on this project, but the most exciting part is that we did it. We, 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 we're gonna do it, we're gonna walk it together. You know, there's gonna be a lot of trials and errors. You're gonna see this here. We have to build walls up, we gotta take walls down, and we gotta do so much, but at the end, the end result is completely worth it. And the great thing about this, this is part one, part two is already recorded, and part three is almost done. So as you're watching this, in the next couple days, you're gonna get part two, and then you're gonna get the final one, and the evolution of that magnificent, beautiful home. <laughs> looks really good now if you watch me on live stream you may see it you may see it on the live stream so if you come on tuesdays you will be able to see it maybe take a little glimpse at it you know but if you want to follow along if you want to learn my struggles my situation whatever what did we do what did we do wrong what happened you know you're gonna see it all through here and that way maybe you will learn with me as we go through this so all right so one of the first thing to do is a new this this is the new idea for my for my area right if you're following the series you're following the live stream you're following the videos we know that i'm making a farm in this part over here right we we got a work area over there that is looking really nice thank you uh everybody that's been joining the live stream that seeing uh how we are building a little work area over there but out here we're gonna be building the farm right and we got the barn we got the windmill we got a little bit of farm going on but now we need the main home right and i just wanted a big one right and i started researching online starting to go to google and just researching farmhouses and, and then i found one that really caught my eye i really enjoy i said like, you know what let me attempt that now i i should have known better that was a really uh i, I just maybe i should have started with a smaller one but the great thing is I, we started with a big one and i think it's gonna come out right. So it's a multi-level home uh, and they got these rooms are hanging, right? So why you see me on the side here, right? So we started with the foundation. So I already knew I needed to start a little bit elevated. Now, one of my mistake was that I should have started more elevated. So always remember, this is tip number one right now. Tip number one, if that, make sure that you always and always, always, always start, have a, the whole surfer as the flat. So uh, what I was thinking here, you know, and I'm using the foundation, uh, the gray one, right? The cement. So, uh, so I, I wanted, what I wanted to do is slowly start it a little elevated. I want the, and the house because I'm, I'm looking at this picture and the house is elevated on this cement platform, right? So I really wanted to do that. What I should make, make sure was that the whole platform was completely elevated uh, and go beyond maybe what the house would have been, right? And that's something that you're gonna see here. I had to start tweaking and fixing and, and doing little things in here and there because slowly, slowly, because you never know how the projects are gonna be, right? How big are they gonna come out? And this one came out a lot bigger than I expected. So one of the key things that I, I needed to do, right? As I'm following along and looking at this beautiful home is, okay, so I kind of mark where I, the door's gonna be, and they got these rooms, right? They, they're like extended up on the air, and you can see that they're holding um, but with this beam. So what I'm trying to do here is I found this, this little columns right over here, and using those pillars to kind of build the first room size, right? And just making sure that everything's gonna work and have a little spacing. And this is how I'm kind of imagining how to start and lay now the foundation and the pieces slowly of the home. And then again, here we go. I'm adding more foundation as I'm because we're gonna extend over here. So this is the corner of the home, right? We're supposed to walk up the stairs, get up here and make it right here. And that was the thing. Now I'm, I'm trying to decide because I did notice now that at some point, these are a little too low because we're gonna put a roof inside here and you're gonna notice that it came out too low. And I was like, you know, 
it, and those are the things that sometimes you don't you don't expect when you're building if if you're building a home for show and not to be utilized on the inside then that's very different right because the great thing about lego fortnite something that I'm, I'm discovering and thinking in the future a lot of times you know you're just making things for show it's just for the village for the town for the situation that you're building maybe you don't want to make it completely functional on the inside now this one i did want to try to make it functional i i did want to be able for someone to move here and one of our members uh ranch this is gonna be her home you know she's uh, she comes in into the world and she collects uh she harvested she she stayed she's running the farm right and i uh, and part part of this goal even though it's a cool project as a build video as for you guys and trying to come up with something new is at the same time it's gonna be a home for one of our members so i'm, I'm very excited because it, 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 it serves a double purpose it's not just for me you know and it's not just for for this video but it's also for a person that is doing an amazing job helping us out so this is going to be ranch home right and, and so i, I really want to make it something very special so okay so now i'm i gotta work on on the with the pieces that we have right so when you look at a picture or something like that we're not gonna have all the pieces you gotta improvise you gotta in, use your imagination a lot you know when you're building something custom and that's another little new new adventure that we're getting into right it's not just building a frame you know there's so many pieces that you need to make a feel and everything needs to connect and there's rules and there's way to do things and you really gotta start thinking you know and there's a lot of trial and error and once again you're gonna see that here and not just in this video you're gonna see it on part two and then on part three when we start doing final detail work that that's what i'm doing right now but well, not right now. Right now I'm recording the, uh, this for you guys. But in part three, uh, we're doing the final touches, truly the final touches. And it looks and it's looking amazing and it's looking amazing. So, uh, you know, it, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm just so happy. You know, it's, it's, it's hours and hours and hours trying to build just one home. Right. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad that these challenges are here, uh, especially to build something custom, something new. So as you can see right here, I'm trying to frame the the little uh, doorway right here right and I'm, I'm trying to use these pillars just to mark the area that i need to be and i'm already encountering problems right uh some of the walls are already registering you know that it's overlapping it's touching and that's something that you're gonna encounter a lot in lego fortnite right especially as you're building custom and there's a lot of things a lot of things that are going to be touching that you can't do it so you gotta figure things out maybe use another part or item that you didn't want to use and that's something that you gotta think about, you know, and something that is gonna happen and I don't want you to be discouraged. So I hear once again, now I gotta restructure the framework. We already got part of the room, we gotta elevate it, but now things are not aligning now. And it's gonna be your choice at the end, right? If you want to really cover everything, hide everything, maybe you want more square edges, but I really wanted as much of the detail work that I see this real home has, try to see if we can do it in Lego Fortnite and have all this elaborate and very unique things, you know, that it's not just blueprints, right? And just building everything uh, out of blueprints all the time, but we wanna keep expanding in original. And that's something that's my goal. My goal in all this video and video series that we're gonna be doing is to keep building everything as much as original as we can, right? And, and keep, uh, inspiring other people as many as i can and, and and it's exciting and this type of goal really motivates me to want to keep building and and keep building and keep coming up with new ideas and new design but also at the same time we're doing it in survival mode and survival mode telling you what <laughs> the constant eating it takes it takes a lot and i'm so jealous and I, I, and I know i can have sandbox and i know we're gonna do it one day but every time i see people playing sandbox it looks so nice and you get all this stuff and and you can fly and all of that but at the same time understand that there's something about about building it in, in survival and being able to accomplish everything that we accomplish in full survival mode right and and it, it just it's a good satisfaction that but I can't wait to one day we start building a world in sandbox mode too one day. But for now, we are experiencing Lego Fortnite as survival, as in survival. But okay, so now we are restructuring the room. We bring in the pillars again. Wow, we're gonna build the room. And as you can see, and I'm trying to now make it a little bit wider 
this time around, I felt like the other one was a little too short compared with the picture that I'm looking at. So you know what? Let's make a little wider and all of that. Now, one of the things I will tell you early on and maybe another tip that I am learning as I go, you know, uh, don't be in a rush. Truly, do not be in a rush. Sometimes I found myself trying to rush the bill and trying to do things a little bit more quicker than I needed to instead of taking my time and I was just adding more work to myself. You know, just just be patient with yourself. You know, it's, it's all gonna be a learning curve and trust me, trust me, once again, listen to me. You are going to make many mistakes mistakes that you're they're they're supposed to be obvious but we forget and then we put pieces where they don't need to go and then you remember oh yeah i need to do this just like right here i had the door a little bit too close uh we're gonna have to move this once again and at the same time the roof is already low the roof is too too low like not even the walls as you can see right here uh the walls are already clipping and we're gonna have this roof right over here, right? And this is sometimes, you know, uh, it's, it's how to find the right way to approach each of these builds, right? And and what and what area and what step and, and it's a process. And I'm telling you, it's a process. I don't have the perfect formula on how to approach a specific build. All I can do is, is build as I go and then try to catch things as fast as I can. But sometimes, uh, you won't be able to do that. So as you can see again, we had to take down the uh, the wall. We had to take down already the roofing and now restructure. And what, what, one of the things about this build, especially in this corner here that we're working on, is this is one of the hardest pieces to do in this home, you know, because it's, it's different. It's not just a wall on the outside and you can make a two story. It's, it's a wall underneath it and then a room, but the room is hanging. And that was an effect that I personally wanted. So it, it, it was a challenge and I'm, I'm happy that I took on the challenge. But as you can see, you already start structuring a lot. Now, uh, if you are listening and you want to follow this video, you know, you made it this far and you're very interested to see how this comes out and you like the commentary uh trust me just watch the videos first watch the videos that way you know when to follow along when not to follow along and when and how to to build it right because in here you're gonna see it it's gonna be we're taking things down and back and forth back and forth con constant continuously so so right now watch the video follow it along uh, in visual format and then remember how I'm doing things and then uh, refer the video back as you're following. If, you, if you're loving this idea, if you like this design and approach, you know, uh, and at the same time, you know, there's different situation that my bill got to a certain point that was a really good one, but it wasn't what I was looking for. So if you see something that you like, you know, don't be afraid to stop the video right there and maybe copy up to there. Let's say you like this section right here, up to here right and you want just to keep this front you like the way it is you just want to keep it a little more simple than what i did then you're almost done you're halfway there right uh, but here's when i noticed and this is when i told you my tip number one was i should have worked on my foundation first and make sure i should have worked it from the very back and bring it all the way to the front and it didn't matter how tall it was in the front but at least all the way to the back would have been the same floor now, uh, once we get to maybe end of part two, maybe beginning of part three, depending how the editing goes, you're gonna be able to see that I did work on the inside of the home. We did make it functional. We made, made the room, we made the staircase, okay, uh, the staircase going to the second floor and we fixed the situation in a clever way, but it would have been a lot easier if I would have just started from the very beginning, make sure all the way to the back, bring it to the front, make it bigger and then take out the parts that I don't need. So it's, it's a live and learn situation and I will do better on the next video uh, once we start the next build. So now, right now, temporarily, I'm placing stairs where I think it's gonna fall eventually, but trust me, they, they didn't land right here. The, the last stairs at the very end, they just didn't fell right there. But, you know, but we need to start imagining and where we're gonna be on the second floor. And that's the, that's gonna be my next tip. Uh, you know, LEGO Fortnite is very different than any of the other games that we play here on the channel, right? If you follow me, if you follow me from Dincom, if you're playing DDD with us and, you know, you're doing any of the other 
uh, builders game that we do or decorating game, you know, uh, you can tell that Lego Fortnite is very different, you know, it's structured different. You actually, there's a lot more pieces. You're actually like doing a construction, you know, it's not just uh, make uh, bringing up there and making an illusion of a building, but we are actually working on building. So it, it is a little more, more brain power. They just say that and I, and that's something that I'm, I'm learning myself, you know, and we have to be aware of that. So as you're playing Lego Fortnite, you know, and you see complicated builds like this one, I will say it's a little more complicated. I didn't really meant to be this complicated, but it just came out more complicated because my ambi ambitions, my, I just wanted this project to be really, really cool, you know, because the farm area is, is looking nice. It's, it's, it's getting there. I have a couple more buildings that are gonna be added to this farm. They are gonna be a unique of my own, uh, my own design. So hopefully you continue to follow the series so you can get uh, inspired for maybe for future building, future farmland that you want to do as well. But as we, you know, again, again, my goal, my, my, my complete goal is to have this little farming community area right here that's gonna look really nice and then we're gonna continue to expand to other areas and villages and make more one that's more like a town and i am slowly working on a design for that in a in a separate notebook that way every time i have ideas i'm kind of laying down the foundation so then when we start working on that we're ready you know but right now my inspiration has been to work in a beautiful farm layout right and and it's been nice to look at all these pictures and real farming and real lands just to grab the inspiration. Okay, so now I'm building the second floor, right? Uh, I, I need to get this together. And right now we, we got everything aligning. Now, so something that happened to me that I will tell you now, if, if you're following along and you get to this point and you like all the pieces that I'm using, then great, keep it because it's, it's looking nice, right? It, everything is flowing and all that, but I really want it at some point, I, I wanted to be more than what the walls were and use and be a little more clever, take away a little bit more of the brown and add a little more gray. And you're gonna see that and part of it, you're gonna see that part of this building. But if you like more very log, uh, log cabins, right, right here, then if you're following this, we're gonna get to a point that you almost got one building here. So this is, this is really great news because if you're following and you still want to follow on the big one, you can get two buildings out of here because we're almost done technically with the first one. If you, if we were just going to close it out and keep it very simple, you know, not, not as big as I was going to go, you can almost duplicate already what you got in the, in the front, duplicate it on the back and you got a small narrow home. And, and that's just an, an amazing thing, you know, because with, uh, there's so many, so many times that we're working on something but without you knowing that you can have a building here and another building here but as you can see as we work far away that's something that's so always to me so important to do is always take a step back because at some point not on this video but on one of the other ones that we're gonna have to edit uh, later on we have I, I noticed that the roof was off on one of the sides oh my gosh when I noticed that it was so much work, <laughs> so much work, right? But okay, all right. So 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 let's get so let's get back. So this is what I was telling you in the beginning about the foundation, right? I wish I would have started it uh, all level from the very far back and work my way to the front and let the front part be very tall and it would have been just fine. It's, it's just something that I didn't think of it. And now to the point that what I was. I didn't want just to take everything down and do it again because you know in, in many ways in many ways as you're building a Lego Fortnite is it's not like I can easily uh, duplicate this build you know so it, it, it comes to a point uh, you, you come to a point that it's like uh, you're building as you go you know so all my build video series that you're going to be seeing here is it's not um and some of them will be a little more straightforward like the windmill or something like that that is very repetitive and and it's very easy but then you're going to have build videos like this one that's going to be showing you so many things so many steps so so, so much going on and a lot of them are going to be part one part two maybe part three because the build takes so long in real time even when you speed it up like you see in here as a spill video 
is gonna take so much time, you know? And and there's so much to explain, so much to talk about, and so much to do. So, okay, so here I decided that I need to start knowing how far this home is gonna go. So um, what I'm trying to do is find the, the corners, right? So now this room over here is supposed to be you know sticking out so that's part of the design of the real home so now i gotta work on the wall and this is when things are not aligning they're not they're not doing it right there's things in the way and these are the moments that can get a little frustrating trust me so if, if you're doing your own custom building and design this is when it can get a little a little frustrating and uh, my, my advice is take a deep breath and take your time, you know, there, there is no hurry, right? Uh, take your time, do the best that you can, you know, and just enjoy the process. So now here's another thing that I noticed. Now I'm going over here and things are a little too high, no working just right, they're not gonna attach together correctly. And I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna fix this? So, and once again, a lot of it has to do with the foundation. So now I, I gotta fill the foundation just to make sure that everything is in the right place and and still to this day, uh, we're waiting. We're waiting for that button that you can go up and down, right? We 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 can go sideways, and you know, click 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 to the left, click click to the right. But now we need one that's go up and we go down because if we get that, then oh my gosh, placing things underneath is gonna be a nine and game a nine and day difference. It's gonna be a game changer when that comes, and I believe that he has to come. You know, if they're paying attention and what people are building, you know dev developers if, if you're hearing this and you're watching this you know uh thank you so much for bringing this game into our lives but but we do need some tweaks and here and there right uh but i but I, I know they're gonna come right they're gonna come okay all right so as you can see we framed it back and i got to a certain point so now i gotta walk on this side so uh do this side and what i mean by doing this side is i need to do the other room that's gonna be elevated and popping out out of the side so the same thing and and i something that you see here is i just gotta go back and forth reference what something that i did see how it looks and then come back so sometimes i you even gotta destroy again as you can see i'm destroying the floor trying to see and um, which one was that i used in the pillars and and just trying to work in that way. And once I saw it, then okay, then we got it. Now I'm feeling the floor backing again that all this flooring is gonna be done again and again and again. Now something that I didn't catch myself, if you notice here, I pulled the beams backwards. <laughs> The beams are supposed to w w hang on the other end so the room can actually be more out and I didn't catch it and you're gonna see that <laughs> I'm gonna try to place this and it's not gonna work and I'm gonna and I'm like what happened why is this not working and it's just not looking right not looking this and <laughs> And eventually we catch it and we're gonna fix it. So uh, you're gonna notice uh, that this is something common. This is not the first time that I've done this. Uh, sometimes you you forget, you don't catch a little detail like that. You're so focused on what you're building that you don't catch it. Now, something over here that I did, that it was very different, is I wanted the, the windows to show out, right? But you can't do the lock. We don't have another type of window. So I had to actually do it the, the other way. But then I noticed in here, like they don't want to work. They want to work on the outside. They don't want to go on the inside. And this, after trying this and trying this, this is when slowly I'm going to start to notice that, wait a minute, I got things backwards, you know, and then I got to fix it. But as on this moment, I'm just trying to figure it out. I'm just trying to figure out why one side is not working and the other side. Sometimes it's the roofing. So I'm trying to see, and as you can see right here, you even can see it on the video. Did you see how the, the, the frame of the columns that I'm using, all those pillars, I clip it into the wall and that's my issue, but I still have not noticed. I still not noticed. I'm still going at it. And I'm gonna be honest, I was a little frustrated because I'm looking at the other side and I got the same height, I got the same thing scenario, and you don't know why. And sometimes those are the things that happens. And trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me that, that just be patient with yourself. Uh, sometimes you're not gonna notice right away. You don't know what happened, but when you, know, you notice, you're gonna fix it, you're gonna laugh, and you're gonna be okay. And then, here we go. <laughs> I finally noticed it and we're gonna fix it. And that makes the big the, the biggest difference, right? It's 
now we we're gonna we and we also get to have the room at the proper distance you know but that's also so important to keep everything proportional on one side keep it the same thing on the other side now a couple times i have to actually redo the room one one of the things that i still find hard in lego fortnite that you know that i don't know how many of you are having the same situation is is that we can't really see a lot of the time so close so we know if we're putting things in the proper place you know it's, it's not the easiest camera angles to do now i am getting better we are getting faster i feel like you and me and everybody that's watching or if you're new if you're new trust me you're gonna get better it's gonna get faster but it's, it's still it's still a little a little frustrating right but over here all i'm trying to do is make sure that this room land where it needs to land now it's not landing in the same way and this is something also that is not see you see over here it's supposed to land at the edge, at the edge, and it's not landing, it's landing very inside. And I need the I need the back of the edge to land on the down. Now, something in Lego Fortnite that I noticed, sometimes you're trying to hold it and make it snap, and that's great to uh, align it in different places. But all the times, and something that I'm playing more with uh, as I go is not using the snap feature and just keep moving them out to inland in a specific way. And sometimes you get different spots and different angles and different placement of the same blocks. But, and that's what I'm trying to do. And at some point we managed to do it, we start adding and then we start building the room. Now, this room actually already is already wrong because it came out a little lower than the other one. Now, at some point I will figure that out and we have to refix it, you know? And it's just little details like that, that sometimes you know, you, you might spend uh, already half an hour trying to build something. And then, especially when you're walking uh, symmetry or doing things that are supposed to look identical on one side and on the other, it, 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 it is disappointing. You know, I, I will tell you because I, um, one of the reasons that I'm, we're doing this type of videos like this and the reasons that I want to speak is that way you're not discouraged, right? It's going to happen. You know, you're going to spend so much time on a particular section of your bill to have to take it down again. And sometimes, sometimes you are spending 20, 25, 30 minutes, you know, and that's what I mean that at the end, the reward is worth it if your heart is in it, right? But, you know, just be patient with yourself. Have, be calm. Take your time. If you're getting a little frustrated, don't be like me and push through. <laughs> maybe maybe sometimes you just need to take that break, right? Now, one of the reasons that I, uh, you may hear, I mean, I do step away a lot of the times, but you know, in this particular bill, you know, I really, I was so concentrating and I wanted to get this done that I was very, very focused, you know? And to me, that was important so I can make sure that I can get this done. So now what I'm trying to do is do the pillars on the side. So, and I noticed that now the foundation here is in the way. And here we go again. Now we gotta take down a wall, take down foundation, and just keep picking at it until we get the right thing. And this, and this is why my tip number one, try to work as flat of a surface foundation as you can. Make it oversized if you need to, so you don't have to worry about adding other foundation or clipping on the flooring. Now, on purpose, I picked this place. Uh, I picked the hills because I wanted that terrain look. I didn't want just the flat look of the terrain and I want things to look like you look high and you're going down the hill. And that's on purpose, right? That That's my own thing. But it does make building a little more complicated. So I would suggest either build the foundation completely flat, make it oversized, and then take foundation out as you need to, or find a flat place, big area in your map and build your, your first town until you are until you get better, right? Until we start keep getting better and better each and every time. Okay, so now we're finally getting a couple of things, uh, getting some other section. Now, this is another day that I'm playing again. I'm coming back. Uh, we, we're gonna start again where we left off. So I'm walking around, you know, cause sometimes you forget uh, what you built and, and, and where we're at, you know, uh, after uh, the, the first day of a long uh, build session. And one of the things that we need to do is that I noticed in, in the picture I'm following, I built this wall, but technically there's supposed to be roof already coming in. And then we have this little window, no window, but yeah, like a little part of the roof with a window sticking out. And that's something that I really wanted to do. So, uh, so we needed to start work. We needed to start working on the roof. Now on the roof section over here, 
th this part was a little complicated uh, and I managed to make it work. Now, the only way that you will understand is just by watching the video, but I, I needed to start the roof from this beams that I'm putting over here, but they don't clip just like that either. So, and they, they wanna clip way down and I don't want it to clip uh, way down. I just wanna have a little space in between it. So one of the best way was to make sure that you have something on the side that the roof can actually clip. And then I'm doing some testing over here and seeing how deep the roof is getting into the second flooring. And as you can see, it's coming pretty, pretty inside. So sometimes we're gonna have to move things around depending of if you want a full flesh second, uh, second story, uh, second floor, and that's gonna be something that it's gonna be up to you, right? If you want your your roof to take part of this the second floor, because second floor you can think about it as an attic if that's something that you want. So now we're adding more foundation over here. I'm gonna try to get into the middle over here and then start adding the roof on the other side, you know, because it's gonna kind of cave down. That's gonna be part of the structure. And now one one of the tools that I really like to use a lot that is working for me quite a bit is the using the, the pillars in the pillar tab and using the studs to mark areas that I need to mark. And I, and I really like that a lot. Now over here, I'm trying to figure out where it's gonna be uh, the the top part, you know, that's gonna frame the top because I, sometimes you see the roofs and you got a top part and then it goes down and then you got the long one coming down. Now the roofing is not the easiest thing still to work in Lego and you can see it right here trying to align it and then you're so far away you want to make sure you're aligning, aligning things correctly and sometimes you gotta work in different angles try you don't forget to build your ladders way up high so you can work comfortably and then sometimes the snap feature works really great right away and sometimes it just doesn't want to work but here we are we're building on the roof we're building our foundation going up eventually I'm gonna make the opening but I just wanted to concentrate on the roof and then come back later on and build a second opening. I just didn't wanna concentrate on the opening in the middle and then not work and then have to move more things around. So worst case scenario, I could've just kept the roof like this and just have a, a like a TP style uh, roof coming down on both sides. Now, another thing that I noticed is because you know, the, the picture that I'm looking, I can't really see the backside too much of it. It's more like a sideways picture. So I don't know exactly how deep the backside. So the backside I'm incorporating a little bit. I know it goes a little bit in this direction. So I needed to try to work it. Now on the roof, as you can see, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna make it out to over here. There's gonna be another section that's gonna be taller because the roof had a lot of height in this picture. And there's, the roof is divided in different sections and taking curve. Now, something that if you notice already uh, the middle piece that we're working we gotta rework the room again because it's not falling dead center into this roofing that we're building right over here so we're gonna have to rework that at the same time now I still want this little edge to go around the uh, that section so we're using all these uh, pillars right over here so we can frame some of the uh, outline and that gi gives it that little separation gives it that dark tone that I'm liking a lot and that we're using across all our builds when it comes to the village and once again now that I can do this now I want to put in this piece and see where exactly I wanted to land you know because it's going to be important and sometimes you got to do this sometimes you got to put scenarios like this that you can see how far things are going sometimes you gotta do placeholder so right now i'm adding the roof the that way i can see how this is gonna connect and then because I, i'm trying to find the center and i already told you that the center didn't feel center but it wasn't because of the roofing but it's gonna be called because of the room that we're gonna have to once again take it down and it needs to go one more block uh one two two more blocks into the right side as you're looking at this video and <laughs> And I was like, oh my gosh. And the funny part is that you don't see it sometimes. You don't see it right away. You don't see it at the moment. You know, now that I'm watching the video, I'm like, it was so obvious why I didn't catch it when I needed to catch it. Now I added the frame on the top. We added this, we added the other pieces. And I was like, hey, everything is looking good. Now, something that I saw earlier that it looked really nice. I'm checking this out to break up a little bit of the brown. And this is something that you're gonna see more later on. We are gonna add a little more of the stone into this build right over here so it can start looking better. 
you know, uh, have a little separation and not just be all brown. I really like what we're doing when it comes to that. So that was a little first test, but it did open up and I really like the way it looks. So we do a lot of big changes later on. And again, it's taking down more walls, more stuff so we can do what we just did right there on the side. We're going to do it in so many places and it's so much work, so much work now. Okay, so now I noticed what we what did wrong. So I'm finding another piece right over here that's gonna work better. And once again, now it's looking like this. It's gonna be a little too wide. So we gotta now restructure this. As long as the window and the top look centered, we're gonna be good. And that's something that we're doing right here. Now, when it comes to all these pieces right over here, I'm telling you, uh, sometimes you're gonna have used pieces in different ways just to hide section and defects and and things that may work may not work you may have to face them the other side and then sometimes you gotta then when you're working on the inside then you gotta redo that or hide it in a different way and and i think that's something that we're gonna be learning as we get better at lego fortnite i think we are gonna get better those situations will improve we're not gonna have to do so many of this but as we are learning you know, you, me, we're all learning every single day, every time we play the game. Now, as you can see over here, there is still a gap. You know, we still had a gap. There's still a little bit of a gap in between. It doesn't feel it. It doesn't matter what I use. So eventually we're gonna do, again, like I mentioned, in some of the other parts of the videos, we're gonna work a lot of in detail. Detail decoration that hides a lot of this stuff. So sometimes Bill, and get it built and then trust me once we we start adding the detail work you're gonna see like oh okay i get it you know sometimes you don't have to concentrate so much on the detail as you're building you know let's get your build let's get your layout let's get your idea out there and then because it, it's in phases right basically basically what you're seeing is the faces that i'm talking about first you got your rough draft right uh you're building your skeleton you're building your idea your design you you know your, your main foundation the, the main thing that's going to take shape uh part two is going to be continuing to that foundation and then adding more of the body now more of the body is more of the final what almost looks final but now you're tempted to do some changes if you're brave enough you may dare or you may be like you know what i don't want to do that anymore i'm good with what i have and then three is usually all the final details that will complement this build to stand out and make it even special you know and that's how I, I see it that's how i view it it's just a step system as you're working in lego fortnite now something that you see over here as we did the the little roofing over here we definitely need a flooring so i'm trying to find what's the best pieces to use and this is another big thing in, in Lego Fortnite, right? Is we don't have all these pieces. So you gotta think and improvise. So as you can see right here, I'm using one of the flooring tiles and we adding, we're closing on the roof. And this alone makes such a big difference. Such a big, a big difference, right? And, and that's what I mean. Sometimes you just gotta build and then concentrate later on adding the little details that you need to. Uh, sometimes you gotta leave things a little bit off by one stud, by one dot you know and you're gonna see that um, in a little point uh, most likely at the end of part two maybe on part three you're gonna notice that i do leave one section to make it work to make it work it, it's just up to the front but a little bit you cannot see it but unless you really are looking for it eventually you won't notice but we'll talk about it when we get to that point of the video but it won't be today because they'll be on the other parts but as you can see everything's taking shape everything's taking form we're working on the roof we're working on that and now we gotta go back again once again and build this other side over here because for some reason we cannot just get it and as you can see the struggle is real to get it aligned just like the other side it did not want to do it but eventually we, we prevail and i keep going back and forth and looking at it and i'm looking at it i'm like okay it's supposed to land right there okay so i think i got it and we're gonna start building the room once again and once you start building this room again you're gonna encounter scenarios where you gotta take down a beam as you we notice over here we got part of this beam in the way and that's another thing it's funny unless you're identically and, and maybe i in so many places i thought i was doing the same thing but maybe I used the wrong piece thinking that I used this piece. So it's really hard. I feel like for me 
it's sometimes it's hard to keep track of all the pieces that I use because sometimes you're fixing a problem in that particular moment. And then if you duplicate it on the other side, you don't know how you fix the problem. And maybe I'm explaining that the best way that I can. So, so as you can see right here, I'm trying to duplicate. Okay, I have a pillar over here. Let me pull the pillar over here. And that's the best way to go. If you can duplicate one side and duplicate it on the other, but always remember that if you have to fix a mistake on the other side, most likely you gotta fix it on the other side. And that's gonna be part of life in Lego Fortnite, right? It's not just taking down one thing and that's it. Sometimes you gotta take down multiple pieces, you know, because Lego is it's a very tile-based system. There's a lot of pieces that we're using just to create a shape, to create a detail work, just to do a little bit of separation, just to give it highlight, colors, you know, framework. It's, it's all of it, you know, and there is a lot of pieces, you know, so, so always don't be discouraged if you need to fix something, but always remember that once you fix something, most likely you gotta fix another thing. It's just, it's the way it goes. But as you can see, we're adding all this work, we're adding all this detail, we, we're trying to figure out how to frame this one area so then I can do it on the other side. And that's, that's, that's what you gotta do. You just gotta go back and forth, okay? So don't be, don't be, just do it. If you need to write it down, if you need to take pictures as you're building, so you don't have to go back and forth all the time, go ahead and do that. If may, maybe you can just record yourself and then you can see how you did it. You know, there, there, there's different ways you can approach it uh, to, to make it a little bit easier on your part, you know? But okay, so as you can see, I'm still working on the building. We still got a lot of gaps to fill, a lot of floors to do, but slowly, slowly, you know, our our farmhouse, the ranch home is coming together. We're adding a little more of the roofing over here on the system. And then again, you're gonna see I'm starving all the time. It's hard work, it's hard work. I mean, it makes sense, right? We're building this, of course we're gonna get hungry, you know? Okay, so we're extending the roof, we're doing, uh, adding all the other roof tiles, still trying to figure out why these pillars are not matching, like my other one, why do I have the same opening? And I'm gonna be honest, a lot of the times I could not figure out myself. I don't know why this section didn't do what I needed to do. So we're just gonna let it go, <laughs> let it go, and no worry about it uh, too much, right? Uh, and then just trying to improvise and do all the detailed work that we need to do just so we can make this and make this room happen. Now, I noticed that in one area over here, as you can tell, I had two pieces here, so I wanna add two pieces over here, and maybe what that was the problem. And I'm telling you, sometimes it just didn't add up. And I know I did a mistake somewhere in here, and there's two choices. I think I mentioned this again, but sometimes you can take it all down if you're worried about that perfection you know if ocd is going to strike you then the your best solution is take everything down take the roofing take everything down fight the problem make sure you got it equal and then add it again now i didn't go i didn't went that route sometimes you come to a point that you don't so much if you can take it like i can then we just build and do and just hide things with another thing, another layer, right? Work in layers <laughs> and just hide things away. So sometimes it's math. So sometimes you gotta write the, use the right combination like uh, three, two or three, one, uh, three, one, 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 one. You know, uh, sometimes there's, I, I don't know why. So now this is where I knew I needed the window and I knew it was not gonna work, not in this scenario. Uh, I knew they were supposed to, and I couldn't figure out just yet how I needed this window to stick out because it was supposed to stick stick out and make it this and, and make it come out out of the roof and that took me a moment to brainstorm uh, to be honest it, it wasn't just a, like oh this is how you do it and it took me a while so what I did is I took a break I just added the roof back in and we just left it as a roof for now knowing that I'm gonna come back and do it but at least I knew that I have the space that I can work and that was the most important thing for me is to make sure that in the future I have the room now as you can see I can't put the roof back on <laughs> and and it's just such a weird thing, you know, uh, is that sometimes everything's working perfectly. And then sometimes you're like, why is this is now snapping or working or putting things together? But we, we figure out. And like I said, move that mouse, find the area. Sometimes you're going to be a minute trying to <laughs> align something right. But 
at the end, at the end, at the end, at the end, like everything else in LEGO Fortnite, once we get to the end resort, everything is awesome. Awesome, great, we love it, we enjoy it, we're happy, and that's, that's what we want, right? We wanna be happy, we wanna be able to, to build what we want to build as much as we can, be, be creative, and have a great time, right? And to accomplish that, trust me, take breaks, take moments, uh, come back to it. You know, uh, a build like this one, uh, this one that you're watching right now, if you're still with me, you know, I think it's a total of probably close to 10, you know, nine, 10 hours, I think total real time hours, you know, uh, to do. And of course we're speeding this up and I took some, some, some of the parts that I go and get more materials and get more materials. So those I do, I, you know, I do edit that away. So you don't have to watch every time I have to go get resources. But besides that, besides that, you know, it's, it's just takes time. It truly does. All right. So, so something that I'm seeing now is like, why do I have a gap bigger than the other side? Like, look at this, look at the gap over here. It's like, what happened? What's wrong? There's something wrong here. And again, this gap over here is so much bigger. So once again, I noticed a couple of things. So now we got to take out the room once again. And this is when, this is why I build like this takes a long time. You know, it just takes <laughs> so much time. But as you can see, we got to take it down. And it's again, the room is not aligning like the other room. Again, it was just a little lower and it keeps coming down lower and no higher, just like the other one. So once again, you got to take it down, try to align it. So now I'm lining it from a different angle. And this is why I tell you that sometimes, in Lego Fortnite, for whatever reason, you gotta sometimes work in different angles when you're placing things, you know? If you're having a hard time, uh, go higher and do a higher angle. Go lower and try to plan. Go way to the side, you know? It's, it, it's weird and I don't know why, but once, once you find the angle that works, then you're gonna be fine. It's, but you gotta find that particular angle, that particular area that you can enjoy, you know? Enjoy what you're seeing and that you can put it in there but at the end at the end you just gotta keep trying it's all a trial and error game all right so now that we finally got something i feel like we're getting closer we're rebuilding the room um taking down pillars uh adding this side adding the next wall again that we need right here and now the wall is not aligning it's not clipping because now it's taller so now i gotta redo part of this over here as you can see we're taking part of those foundations and then we gotta re fix that once again so so you're gonna go back and forth you're gonna always you're gonna be undoing and doing unless especially if you're doing original stuff original designs you know you want to be creative you want to be clever you know but it's gonna take time it's gonna take time especially if it's not just 90 degrees and simple corner you know if, if you want to add this little little pillars and this but you want this hanging and then but you want this over here is it's all gonna take you time and you're gonna get better. I feel like after this process, I understand more and what do I need to learn from it, you know? And we're gonna, I'm gonna feel like I'm gonna get better at it. And then it's gonna be like that on the next one. It's gonna be like that on the next one and so on and so on. And you and I are gonna keep improving. All right, so now I'm trying to find and to close this little area, doing the little corner so we can just finally attach this over here. And as you can see, I was off. <laughs> I was off again and so I now gotta find what wall can fit here what do I need to do do I need to restructure do I need to push the bill back you know there's always something always something you know and I, I don't know why uh, right here you can see it works in one way doesn't work on the other way so uh, I'm trying to see if I can use another pillar maybe hide the gaps and that's what I did a lot of the times in this build and pro make it work make it pretty right uh, don't just Put it there to hide something and m make it work if, if you're gonna do what i did right now and, <laughs> and hide some gaps with pillars then make it work and make it look nice uh go ahead and just use it towards your benefit right uh use it toward parts of the design of the bill and then if you do that then also make sure it complements you know it complements what you're doing the inside and the rest of the build so because i started using a lot of these pillars and with the dark uh, outline then i wanted to add that more and more across the build just so it can look 
it does so the other stuff doesn't look as obvious right and then everything just blends together and that's what we're doing here so now i see something better that i did so i'm taking all of this stuff and then we're going to add another section again what i did on the other side we're going to use the other foundation and put it over here so everything feels nice and neat you know and it looks the same right and it's going to look neater and it's going to look a lot cleaner okay so now i'm restructuring the wall here now i gotta fix this wall once again because I did some changes on the other side. Now they're not aligning again. So now I need to do it and duplicate it and do it on this side once again. And it's gonna be back and forth and you can see how much time we spend to get two sections, two sections of this bill so we can get it in the correct height, in the correct sequence, so it can work together. And that's, and that's, this is gonna be part one. We're almost there to end part one, just trying to get this scenario. Now, when we start part two, that's gonna come out in the, uh, in the next couple of days, you know, uh, is we, we're gonna be finished a lot more of the roofing, more of the walls, more of the outside and the exterior, uh, some, a lot of, of the other changes that we needed to do. And it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. And I think slowly, slowly, this build is gonna really take shape. Now, if you come on Tuesday during the live stream, you're gonna be able to see most likely a little sneak peek of this build in your, in, in during the live stream. Okay, so now we are just undoing some of the sections over here, redoing the wall, redoing the pillars, trying to make this work. And once again, we're doing a lot of cleanup, a lot of destruction just to make this work again, taking some of these sections. And as you can see, now we're adding it in. We gotta add the little piece of the corner over here, put the wall back on and just trying to align all of this once again. And I, and, I'm, and you're gonna hear it through every single video in Lego Fortnite. My goal is when you're watching this is, is you can see that it takes time, you know? You know, if you're playing the game, play because you love it, play because you wanna create something and then do not give up on it, right? Do not give up, just take your time. It's frustrating, even myself, you know? And I'm not the greatest builder in the world. I love creating, I love building. I take it as a challenge, I like, this scenario of building and coming up with ideas and design and seeing something in the real world and bringing it into lego and figuring out how to do it i really love that but as you can see a lot of the struggle here that if you're seeing is the way things are hitting some of the walls some of the pillar and that's what i needed to do and i finally figured out it was part of the wall that was hitting it so that's we're just gonna have to fix that eventually now once again we're doing the same scenario over here and there's things happening there's things that are just on the way so we gotta clean it out and this is what i mean i said it earlier and i will say it again sometimes you are just gonna have to take things down you know, and break it out again just to make it work. And that usually happens when you fix one side, especially if you're looking, working with perspective, two things looking the same in both ends, you know? So you fix one, you gotta fix the other one. And then things that you did, now you gotta redo. And as you can see, we're just redoing, once again, part of the wall, part of the structure, and where the next wall is gonna curve in, we wanna make sure of that and then work on the back one, work on the top. And as you can see, that's what we're doing right now. So and another thing here, that it wasn't as easy is to make this curve here. I, I thought that I could use part of this uh, uh, pieces here and to attach it, but in the, it wasn't attaching and not the way that I wanted to. So the, what, what I needed to do is put on one of these pillars here and then the wall attach easily, you know, but then I noticed that now we need to work on the back wall again. And this is what I, again, again, you see how much we gotta take down and do it once and back and forth, back and forth. Every time we're adding something, you're gonna have to take it down and we do it again. And trust me, trust me, it, it can be, can be a little frustrating, but at the end, at the end, I promise you, I promise you the rewards are worth it. You know, take your time. Now over here, what was happening is part of the wall was hitting the roof. So what we need to do was extend the pillar just a little bit more so we can have that little space and then we were able. And that's another thing with the roofing is every time you get close to the roof is it can get complicated. It can get really complicated because sometimes, and then you have a gap and you need to fix that gap that you're gonna encounter that. You're gonna see that in the next couple of videos. Uh, uh, the roofing, <laughs> the roofing is another story. Okay, but I, I'm glad that this part right here ended up, but as you can see, it was off. It was off by a little bit. And, and I kept trying to figure out like, why is this off? 
you know and as you can see right here again it's a little off so what i did is i used this piece corner and i left it as that now in the future that will cause a little bit of problems when you're aligning other stuff but you know sometimes sacrifices need to be made trust me <laughs> sometimes you're just gonna have to do that you know just to be okay but as you can see we're adding now the bottom walls over here just final so we can wrap it up and wrap this part one video that we have here today so so thank you i want to say first of all thank you so much for watching thank you for following the series thank you for watching the videos hitting that like you know and i and i'm glad that a lot of people are writing me and saying that you thank you so much for the video thank you for the encouraging and seeing the struggle that that lego forna is when you're building you know so i want to say thank you thank you so much because uh I do enjoy this. I do enjoy making these builds for you guys to be also inspired, you know, and also to learn, you know, learn from my mistakes, learn from my tips, and hopefully, hopefully your inspiration will hit and you start building great things. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe if you want to see more videos, and I'll see you next time on part two of the Lego Fortnite farmhouse build. All right, guys, see you later. Bye.